We all know how challenging it can be to stay motivated, especially when life gets tough. So in this video, I am going to share with you the sort of strategies that I have been doing for the past couple of years to stay motivated and achieving my goals. So hopefully by the end of this video, it will help you. Let's go back a couple of weeks ago and watch this vlog of mine. No way! No way! <laughs> I was saying it's game day currently. We are sitting on the table. Yeah, enjoy yourself, you get me? My last game was a couple of years ago on this beach. I scored. I am enjoying my football, love the club, love the people. Everything seems to be back on track. You know, I spend a lot of time working on my finishing, fitness, speed, all sorts of things. You know, so it's time to pay off. So today I have set myself again another target to score. Literally, just get a goal. Every game I try my best to set myself a target. And so far it has been working. So I don't see why I should change it. A beautiful day in Glossop. Wow, this is the club store. Am I okay to film? Lovely woman in charge <laughs> of the store. Wow, well, there's all sorts of things here. Essential, yes. Wembley. We have, we have all different hats. Yeah. Wow. Scarves. Oh, over that one there as well. Wow. Old football program. Let's see if I can find one of me from last season. Is this from last season? Yeah, literally. Oh, I remember this day. Day, I scored, and he came running to me. Turn around, and your name should be on there, shouldn't it? Yeah, Jacques Etier. For you guys. I'm joking. Football come first. Serious now. Obviously, non-league football, the pitches are not the best. Sometimes they will bubble about. So the reason I put those cones there is so that I can sort out my feet and turn and shoot, literally. Get in there, lad. So one, two. No, no. Explode up. Six. There.
we got beat last minute of the game 2-1 but for me in terms of my development what I have been doing during pre-season up to now seems to be working like yesterday you saw what I was doing for my training and how I was telling you that in non-league football at times the pitches are not the best so it will bubble up so that's what happened today and I took that chance on my left foot and I scored again so I've set myself a target to score and I did do that it's just a bit disappointed that we did not win that game this season I have scored two on my left foot three headers one right foot and I am right footed so you know I've scored more on my weak side so for me I don't have a weak side that's how I like to see it I just keep working on what I need to work so scoring goals as an attacker, I believe it's what is going to take me to the next stage. My journey back home is for a four minutes and it's 27 miles and I need petrol right now. Find out. I've got 25. I'm going to make it back home. My God, pray for me. I hate traffic light. I hate traffic light. So now I've got a long journey back home to Sheffield. Like I keep telling you. Have that belief, confident, and trust yourself and trust the process. But anyways, enjoy the journey. That is life. Everything you're going through, whatever you've been through to get where you're going to be, it's like an experience and a lesson. Do you get what I'm coming from? Yeah. Mm hmm Show them. Yo, yeah, bro, what are you telling me? Um, Just so you know, my, my GoPro is on. Check it out, man, anyway. Oh, man's good, bro. I appreciate the call, man. What are you saying? Tomorrow's going to be better than yesterday. And when tomorrow comes, you will be thankful for all the losses of life because it's just an educational phase that you're going through. But I'm telling you, some extraordinary people, places, and things is waiting for you. Just stay down, man. I'm telling you, stay down. I, I know you're out there, and I'm talking to you. If you listen to this and you're going through something right now, this right here is for you. Nobody perfect, but I know that I've been watching me. This one girl turning me crazy, guess I'm lazy, but this shit gets hard. Like, from this time. Waking up at. Seven, and I am going to the gym. Oh, number two. Yeah, home. A couple of weeks ago, I wrote this taking control of my life. So that's something I wrote down ages ago. And whenever I go to bed, I try to look at it. I'm always just reflecting basically, like taking control of my life. If I need to sort something out, I'm gonna need to do it. So I have set myself three goals. So if you're new to the channel and you think I'm giving you enough valuable content and you enjoy my content, please subscribe. So obviously this season, I've set myself to get 20 goals this season. The reason is because I believe if I can get that amount of goals this season, team clubs from higher leagues will come after me. So that will increase my chance to become a pro at a higher level or anything like that. But anyways, don't be late enjoy life it's amazing it's beautiful uh, listen listen right now i cannot sleep the time is currently if you can see that it's basically 1 a.m yeah just turn 1 a.m bang on 1 a.m but anyways what i'm having right now is some yogurt and the brown thing that you're seeing is honey and the black stuff are olives so yeah that's literally it don't ask why I put olives in there, but... Okay, I hope you enjoyed that day of mine. Now, let's jump into this. Look, the first thing when it comes to motivation is setting up goals. You see, us as humans, we evolve and grow when we set ourselves goals. So for me, I try my best to always set goals. Whenever I'm setting the goals, I think I say to myself, how am I going to achieve this goal? Is it going to be realistic? Why do I want to achieve this? So when I set myself these goals, I also ask myself, do I see myself achieving this goal? If the answer is yes, I'm like, okay. If no, then I'm, I'm saying to myself, what can I do to achieve this goal? Also, when it comes to my goals, I like to simplify everything and make it straightforward, straight specific to the point. So that way I know exactly what I need to do and it's easier for me. When it comes to goals, you need to have a clear vision. You need to be like, where do I see myself in the future? You need to also think long term because that's the sort of thing I do. Let's say you have set yourself a target. For example, for me as a footballer, I'm saying for the next six weeks, I'm going to work on scoring goals. So for me to score goals, I need to work on my shooting. And when it comes to shooting, I break it down into like first time, 
sec two touch finishing dribbling with football to get shot off so there's different type of shooting but the end goal here is to score more goals but for me to achieve that i need to work on the foundation and building all those little things you see when you get up to a higher level things will get challenging and that's where you need to set yourself clear goals so that way it's easy for you to follow number two motivation always starts with a why so for me whenever i'm trying to stay motivated i always ask myself this question why am i doing this why that's a question that you need to ask yourself when you're doing certain things that way it's clear in your mind and you know why you're doing this so for example when i first started my youtube channel i was like i want to help and inspire as much people as i can and sometimes when I feel like, you know, I can't be asked for me any videos, I remember my why I started the YouTube channel. So when you feel down and you feel like you cannot achieve your goals, remember your why. Your why is always the reason that pushes you. Is it because you're trying to improve your life? Are you doing it for your family, your friends? Why are you doing it? So ideally, when things get quite hard for you, your why is what is going to keep you going. So understand why you are doing certain things. That way you will stay motivated. A lot of people neglect it. Over the years, I have slowly just started to build like a vision board. So it's so simple, but very effective. So picture yourself right now, okay? Achieving all your goals. That's the sort of thing that I say to myself. So whenever I'm picturing myself, now I have like a book and pen. I'm like, okay, this is the goal. This is what I'm trying to achieve. I'm visualizing myself. I'm going to achieve this goal. And when I am visualizing myself, I'm also writing it down. And once I finish with my vision board, at times I will stick it like on my wall, for example, or have it as a wallpaper on my phone. Whenever I am looking at my phone, I'm like, oh, this is my vision board. This is what I am trying to achieve. That way, I cannot just stay motivated. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what I want to achieve. Okay. It's there, it's there, it's there, and I work towards it. With the vision board as well, it can be anything. So now, let's say this is a big goal that you are trying to achieve. Okay, cut it down. But find a way how you will achieve this goal by doing the small things really well. Over a long period of time, let's say you've done this well, 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 it's building up to that big goal. So for example, let's say a house. You have a lovely home that you are trying to build as a builder architect of how, how it works up so now let's say you're trying to build a house for you to build that house the end product you need to focus on the design the foundation so now let's say you build the foundation really well and then you lay a brick on top of a brick and so on you see it's the small brick and smaller brick all those bricks over a long period of time makes it hard so when it comes to goals that's something i do a lot you know i have a big goal but I break it down into small pieces. How can I achieve this goal? What are the first few things I need to put in place for me to build on and on and on for me to achieve this massive goal that I have? Okay, the next one is basically staying organized. All right? So sometimes your environment can impact you mentally and physically. I promise you. I am talking to you from experience. So at times, whenever I am messy, I can see an effect in my life. So let's say now I am messy in this or that. That messiness kind of just transfer into my daily habit, my monthly habit. And before you know it, I am losing motivation. I fell down, I, you know. So for me, whenever I get to that stage where I'm not organized, I quickly try to take control of my life by organizing my space, by organizing my timing you know so being organized planning ahead and taking off the small things that you have set yourself to do so stay organized on top of everything that you're doing with being organized as well it also also link back with achieving your goals smaller goals smaller goals to the big goals so be organized that's one way to stay motivated okay this next one is something that i believe a lot in for me whenever I am trying to stay motivated I always try my best to be around positive people people that share the same value as me that have the belief the confidence to be like you know what this is my life I will make a positive impact I will be in charge of everything that I'm doing in my life so having this sort of people in your life is so important 
you have to be around people that believe in you okay but i'm not saying that don't believe in yourself yes believe in yourself but at the same time as well also be around people that believe in you that can help you that can push you that can motivate you that can support you when things get hard if i feel like you don't really provide any value in my life i completely just block you up uh, that's something that i have been doing for a very long time even in school in school i was always a role model i'm not gonna lie but at the same time i've always had a group of friends here and there they're good they're bad they're ugly i'm not gonna lie i was just a young kid i would have all of them friends as time went on i kind of just picked up on a few things and what i want to achieve with my life and i'm saying look if i'm going to achieve this in my life now look at my friend look at my friend look at my friend do i seriously want to be spending my time with these sort of people and then i'll visualize myself the long-term goal okay this is what i'm trying to achieve now if these are my friends and i'm trying to achieve this i don't think these guys are helping i will cut you out cut you out cut you out that's something i've just been doing you see there's this time in my life that was very dark okay and what i mean by this is i was not talking to anyone people will invite me to places i will not show up i was like yeah 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 i'll be there we all know someone like that but never turn up and so on the reason is because i kind of realized that look these people are not really bringing any value to me it was lonely so i kind of just separate myself from those group of people and for me to become friends with other people was actually hard because i was truly just growing as a person trying to understand and know the sort of person i am so obviously during those time when i've asked myself from people it was quite tough but my mindset of what i want to achieve in my life is bigger than the people that i'm surrounding myself with that i believe will bring me down so i just got them out and just asked myself it was hard it was lonely but i loved it because it has made me become the person i am today and I don't regret it and that is still part of evolution in life obviously as a man as well there's been time where you have to be like you know what it is life it's a lonely road you just have to keep fighting doing to do even if it means being on your own then that's fine so honestly surround yourself with good people your environment is so important as well so please have a good positive environment if you're in school right now and you know that in class you mess about with the wrong group stop it honestly stop it the next one to stay motivated is rewarding yourself you see in life there will be a moment when you will achieve small things small things means a lot to me like i don't know i keep saying this a lot i look at the small things a lot so now let's say i have set myself a goal and i have achieved one small thing i feel proud about it so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and reward myself. So for me to stay motivated, I like to reward myself. So whenever I have achieved something, I go out there. Treat myself a little bit and celebrate with your friends, family, brothers, sisters, aunties, dad, cousins, everyone that you, you feel like deserve to celebrate this moment with you. Whenever I'm also celebrating, I'm also thinking about the people that helped me. If you help me during this period i come to you and I'm like look i'm so grateful that you've helped me achieve this i also like to show a bit of gratitude and humbleness like thank you so that also shows the soft person you are okay so reward yourself so when you reward yourself it honestly just boosts your confidence boosts you up and stay and makes you motivated so okay the next one is staying inspired you see me as a person i always love to grow as a human being i just love to grow i like to get inspired it's not just about football it's just life in anything that i do i've got so much passion for other things you know i always try to have fresh ideas and be in an environment that inspires me that will help me to grow put myself in a position that look I'm here to learn I'm here to grow as a person that way it will help me that will I have a clean mind a clear vision you know a good heart you know all these little things I basically just find inspiration I go out there in the nature appreciating what life has to give I'm like wow look at what life is all about just out here in the nature look at how calm those birds are so seeing inspiration there and here 
is very important so get inspired get out there try different things don't be afraid to be different don't be afraid to do the thing that you love or that will challenge you to get inspired to get motivated so go out there grab it with two hands and be like you know what today i'm gonna try my best to get inspired i'm gonna try something new even if it's art go out there try it out because at the end of the day you're gonna get inspired and that inspiration will boost your motivation and you being motivated will help you to achieve your goals so go out there and smash it literally get inspired okay this next one is a bit hard for me it's actually being able to overcome hardships okay now let me tell you a little story a couple of years ago I used to obviously play for Rover United and for me to get to training let's say I've just finished school at 3 p.m. when that bell goes off immediately I am running home for about 15 minutes 20 minutes just run fast as well I get home quickly get changed I had like five minutes to get changed usually and get something to eat. From there, quickly go to the bus stop again, five minutes, catch a bus, and then once I get to town, catch another bus to a different station, from a different station, catch another bus to go training. Then when I get to that part to the training ground, almost the training ground, I will walk for like a good 20 minutes. And I've done that for years. So now imagine here, yeah, imagine this. After training, you finish training about was it 9 p.m.? Now let's just be winter time. Bus service are the worst. It is freezing, it is cold. All in the dark. At a young age, all alone. You know, you just there thinking to yourself, now you have to catch three buses back home. It is hard, you know. At times I would just be like at times I would just be at that bus stop all alone. Just thinks to myself why am I even doing this you know and those time made me you know obviously I had different experience and obviously overcoming hardship is so important so me trying to get to training by catching free bus day and then free bus back home walking running sprinting and so on to get to training and when you get to training as well the training sessions are tough so by the end of this session you are just finished so what I'm trying to say is that over those period of time I've been able to overcome all the hardship and now down the line here in the current present time I passed my driving license I am driving I've bought myself a car paid insurance everything done everything on my own so now whenever I'm just sat in my car at times I drive past a bus stop I'm like you remember all them days but now look at you you've deserved this you're in a position that look you've worked so hard to be in this position and that's one of the hardship when you overcome hardship it also build character and those character helps you to stay motivated you also have to understand that hard times are not there to last there's a period for everything so embrace that moment okay because that hardship will close down and when it does a new chapter in your life opens so hardship here hardship 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 builds you to this amazing strong person you are well me and once you get to that stage where you feel like nothing can stop you you just keep setting yourself goals after goals with my driving i failed 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 then i passed but the moment i passed all those hardships that i had did not matter okay it's not just about football i want to take you out of this football world because i see a lot of athletes a lot of young footballers or any people in my age that just think football is everything I'm not saying don't chase your dreams, don't go out there and believe in yourself that you will achieve this. I'm just saying football, well, in my opinion, has also built me in so many ways. You have to overcome hardship to move forward in life. That is so simple. So that's a way I stay motivated by accepting hardship, understanding that they come in your life and they go. So enjoy the process. So if it's hard, 
let it be hard enjoy that process if it's easy enjoy the process of it being easy you know if it's in between enjoy it enjoy the process of working hard for your dream enjoy the process because everything comes to an end you have to also understand at some stage you will grow old and don't make a mistake because well for me i don't want to make a mistake like whenever i'm in my 30s or maybe even 50s like did i do enough I don't have those regrets. I want to be like, I had a hardship here and here and so on. I've used those moments to grow and learn. So with me as well, when it comes to motivation, my mindset is something that I look at a lot. Protect your mind. Say positive things to yourself because mindset can take you places that you've never been. And what I mean by this is that when you feel like giving up, but you say positive things to yourself and you're just taking a lot of good things and you be like, you know what, I can do it, I can do it. Self-talk is so important. So when you said that, your body just follows, literally. At times, I would be like, you know what, Jacques, you're not doing so well in this and that. You're losing a bit of motivation here and there. How are you going to stay motivated? These are the questions I'm asking myself in my head. And I'm just sat there picturing myself in that moment, saying this and saying that. And I'm trying to find a solution. So, honestly, Sometimes just talk to yourself if you need to but obviously at the same time as well speak to a family member a friend someone that you can trust and open to as well so have a good mindset it's very important so sometimes there will be days when you will have bad days or well bad days for me I don't have bad days I always have good days because let's say there's been an incident in my life that has happened and during that period let's say it has happened for like 10 minutes 15 minutes i am here i don't let that anger go with me for the rest of the day i quickly saw it out if i need to saw it out before i end this i want to give you one last one stay consistent okay when you are consistent over a long period of time it will pay off so for me to stay motivated is doing the small things really well over a long period of time and I truly believe I'm just doing the small things well motivation is a journey for different individual all right it's a journey so to stay motivated it's different to you and it's different to me we will all have a journey in life and this journey is unique so my motivational journey will be different to yours but these are some of the few strategies that I have been doing over the past years anyway so go out there get inspired challenge yourself set targets reward yourself feel good about yourself surround yourself with positive people you know accept hardship so yeah find your why create a vision board break down your goals and so on anyways that is the end of the video if you find any value into this video please share this with a friend family someone you know get a message on and if this is your first time on my youtube channel subscribe okay subscribe with that being said i will see you on to the next video okay bye bye stay motivated stay motivated